Psychology is the scientific study of the mind and behavior. Psychology includes the study of conscious and unconscious phenomena, including feelings and thoughts. The word psychology comes from the Greek word psyche, meaning the human soul, mind or spirit, and with logia, which comes from the Greek word logos, meaning speech, word, reason or explanation. Psychology is an academic discipline of immense scope, crossing the boundaries between the natural and social sciences. Psychology is a multifaceted discipline and includes many subfields of study such as human development, sports, health, clinical social behavior, and cognitive processes. All psychologists have one thing in common. They rely on scientific methods. Research psychologists use scientific methods to create new knowledge about the causes of behavior. Psychologist practitioners use existing research to enhance the everyday life of others. The science of psychology is important for both researcher and practitioners. The ancient civilization of Egypt, Greece, China, India and Persia all engage in the philosophical study of psychology. Philosophers used to discuss many topics now studied by modern psychology such as memory, free will versus determinism, nature versus nurture, attraction, etc. In ancient Egypt, Abyss Papyrus mentioned depression and thought disorders. Greek philosophers, including Thales, Plato, and Aristotle addressed the workings of the mind. In 387 BC, Plato suggested that the brain is where mental processes take place. In 335 BC, Aristotle suggested that it was the heart. Plato argued on the nature side, believing that certain kinds of knowledge are innate or inborn, whereas Aristotle was more on the nurture side, believing that each child is born as an empty slate, and that knowledge is primarily acquired through learning and experience. In the 4th century BC, the Greek physician Hippocrates theorized that mental disorders had a physical rather than supernatural causes. In China, psychological understanding grew from the philosophical works of Lao Tzu and Confucius, and later from the doctrines of Buddhism. Chinese philosophy also emphasized purifying the mind in order to increase virtue and power. An ancient Chinese text identifies the brain as the nexus of wisdom and sensation includes theories of personality based on yin-yang balance, and analyzes mental disorder in terms of psychological and social disequilibria. Avicenna or Ibn Sina, the famous Muslim doctor born in 980 AD, studied and treated epilepsy, nightmares and poor memory. The first psychiatric hospital was built in Baghdad by the Arab Muslims. The French philosopher René Descartes also considered the issue of free will arguing in its favor and believing that the mind controls the body through the pineal gland in the brain, an idea that made some sense at that time but was later proved incorrect. Other European philosophers including Thomas Hobbes, John Locke and John Jock Rousseau also discussed the human mind and nature. Psychology as a field of experimental study began in 1884 in Leipzig, Germany when Gustav Fechner created the first theory of how judgments about sensory experiences are made and how to experiment on them. German psychologist Wilhelm Wundt, who developed a psychology laboratory in Leipzig, Germany, and the American psychologist William James, who founded a psychology laboratory at Harvard University, were among the pioneers of experimental psychologists. In 1890, the American Psychological Association was founded under the leadership of Stanley Hall. Herman Ebenhaus, who lived from 1850 to 1909 and worked at the University of Berlin, was the first psychologist to study memory extensively. Ivan Pavlo, who lived from 1849 to 1936, carried out the famous experiment which demonstrated that dogs salivated when they expected food, introducing the concept of conditioning. The Austrian Sigmund Freud, who lived from 1856 to 1939, introduced the field of psychoanalysis, a type of psychotherapy. He used interpretive methods, introspection, and clinical observations to gain understanding of the mind. There are different fields of psychology. Prominent fields of psychology are 
Abnormal Psychology Abnormal psychology is the study of abnormal behavior and psychopathology. This speciality area is focused on research and treatment of a variety of mental disorders and is linked to psychotherapy and clinical psychology. Biological psychology studies how biological processes influence the mind and behavior. This area is closely linked to neurosciences and utilizes tools such as MRI and scans to look at brain injury or brain abnormalities. Clinical psychology is focused on the assessment, diagnosis, and treatment of mental disorders. Cognitive psychology is the study of human thought processes including attention, memory, perception, decision making, problem solving, and language acquisition. Comparative psychology is the branch of psychology concerned with the study of animal behavior. Development psychology is an area that looks at human growth and development over the lifespan including cognitive abilities, morality, social functioning, identity, and other life areas. It focuses not only on infants and young children, but also teenagers, adults, and older people. Forensic psychology is an applied field focused on using psychological research and principles in the legal and criminal justice system. It involves assessing the psychological factors that might influence a case, behavior, and presenting the findings in the court. Industrial organizational psychology is a field that uses psychological research to enhance work performance and select employees. Occupational or organizational psychologists help companies to find more effective ways to function and to understand how people and groups behave at work. Personality psychology focuses on understanding how personality develop as well as the patterns of thoughts, behaviors, and characteristics that make each individual unique. Its area of focus include investigation of individual psychological differences, investigation of human nature and psychological similarities between individuals. Social psychology focuses on group behavior, social influences on individual behavior, attitude, prejudice, conformity, aggression, and related topics. A social psychologist looks at group behavior, social perception, nonverbal behavior, conformity, aggression, and leadership. Social perception and social interaction are seen as key to understanding social behavior. Psychology, the study of the mind, has hundreds of theories and sub-theories, but some main school of thought are often the foundation for those new to the world of psychology. Structuralism emerged as the first school of thought in psychology. Wilhelm Wundt, the founder of the first experimental psychology lab, educated some of the ideas associated with the structuralist school. Wundt, who distinguished psychology as a science from philosophy and biology, was the first person ever to call himself a psychologist. Structuralism was the first school of psychology and focused on breaking down mental processes into the most basic components. Researchers try to understand the basic elements of consciousness using a method known as In reality, though it was one of Wundt's students, Edward B. Techner, who formally established this psychological school of thought. Wundt advanced the technique of introspection as the scientific tool that would enable researchers to unveil the structure of the mind. Introspection involves looking inwards, reflecting on, analyzing, and trying to make sense of our own internal experiences as they occur. Functional psychology or functionalism refers to a psychological school of thought that was a direct outgrowth of Darwinian thinking which focuses attention on the utility and purpose of behavior that has been modified over years of human existence. Functionalism formed as a reaction to the theories of structuralist school of thought and was heavily influenced by the work of William James, John Davy, Harvey Carr. Edward Thorndike, best known for his experiments with trial and error learning, came to be known as the leader of the movement. This moment arose in the U.S. in the late 19th century in direct contrast to Edward Tischner's structuralism, which focused on the contents of consciousness rather than the motives and ideals of human behavior. Functionalism denies the principle of introspection, which tends to investigate the inner workings of human thinking rather than understanding the biological process of the human consciousness. In contrast to Wundt, 
who attempted to understand the nature of consciousness the goal of william james and the other members of school of functionalism was to understand why animals and humans have developed the particular psychological aspects that they currently possesses for james one thinking was relevant only to one's own behavior as he put it in his psychology textbook my thinking is first and last and always for the sake of my doing rather than focusing on the elements of consciousness functionalists focused on the purpose of consciousness and behavior functionalism also emphasized individual differences which had a profound impact on education structuralism focused on breaking things down to their smallest parts it examined the capabilities of different parts of the mind it used introspection to study feelings and sensation on the other hand functionalism focused on how things work together it examined how the mind functions in different environments it used objective techniques to explore memories and emotions gestalt psychology is a school of psychology based upon the idea that we experience things as unified wholes this approach to psychology began in germany and austria during the late 19th century in response to the molecular approach of structuralism Instead of breaking down thoughts and behavior to their smallest elements, the Gestalt psychologists believe that you must look at the whole of experience. According to Gestalt thinkers, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Behaviorism became the dominant school of thought during the 1950s, based upon the work of thinkers such as John B. Watson and Pavlo. and skinner behaviorism holds that all behavior can be explained by the environmental causes rather than by internal forces behaviorism is focused on observable behavior theories of learning including classical conditioning and operant condition were the focus of a great deal of research the behavioral school of psychology had a significant influence on the course of psychology and many of the ideas and techniques that emerged from this school of thought are still widely used today psychoanalysis is a school of psychology founded by sigmund freud this school of thought emphasized the influence of unconscious mind on behavior freud believed that human mind was composed of three elements the id ego and superego the id consists of primal urges while the ego is the component of personality charged with dealing with reality the super ego is the part of personality that holds all of the ideals and values we internalize from our parents and culture fraud believed that the interaction of these three elements was what led to all of the complex human behaviors fraud school of thought was enormously influential but also generated considerable debate the controversy existed not only in his time but also in modern discussions of fraud theories other major psychoanalytic thinkers include enna fraud carl jung erik erikson humanistic psychology developed as a response to psychoanalysis and behaviorism humanistic psychology instead focused on individual free will personal growth and the concept of self actualization While early school of thought were primarily centered on abnormal human behavior, humanistic psychology differed considerably in its emphasis on helping people to achieve and fulfill their potential. Major humanistic thinkers include Abraham Maslow, Carl Rogers. Humanistic psychology remains quite popular today and has had a significant influence on other areas of psychology, including positive psychology. This particular branch of psychology is centered on helping people living happier, more fulfilling lives. Cognitive psychology is the school of psychology that studies mental processes, including how people think, perceive, remember, and learn. As part of the larger field of cognitive sciences, this branch of psychology is related to other disciplines, including neuroscience, philosophy, and linguistics. Cognitive psychology began to emerge during the 1950s partly as a response to behaviorism. Critics of behaviorism noted that it failed to account for how internal processes impacted behavior. This period is sometimes referred to as cognitive revolution as a wealth of research on topics such as information processing, language, memory, and perception that began to emerge. One of the most influential theories of this school of thought was the stages of cognitive development theory, 
proposed by Jean Piaget. The study of psychology has five basic goals. Number first is to describe. The first goal is to observe behavior and describe, often in minute, often in minute detail, what was observed as objectively as possible. Number two is to explain. While descriptions come from observable data, psychologists must go beyond what is obvious and explain their observations. In other words, why did the subject do what he or she did? Number three is to predict. Once we know what happens and why it happens, we can begin to speculate what will happen in the future. There is an old saying, which very often holds true. The best predictor of future behavior is the past behavior. Number four is to control. Once we know what happens, why it happens, and what is likely to happen in the future, we can exert control over it. In other words, if we know you choose abusive partners because your father was abusive, we can assume you will choose another abusive partner and can therefore intervene to change this negative behavior. Number fifth is to improve. Not only do psychologists attempt to control behavior, they want to do so in a positive manner. They want to improve a person's life, not to make it worse. This is not only always the case, but it should always be the intention.